So today we're going to be trying out Blender's new node-based particle system. So, um, first of all, um, this is still in testing, so it's not out yet. So, to get it, you have to go to blender.org, where you can just download normal Blender if you want, right? And that's just this massive download button right here. But, if you want a more, um, experimental version, you just want to scroll down through here until you find Go Experimental. And um, then you find Blender 2.910 Alpha, right? And this is going to be the um, the one with the particle node system that I'm going to be messing with today. Um, now, keep in mind, this is an experimental build, so it probably will crash a few times. Um, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. So, I unzip the file, put it on my desktop, and here's what's in it. I'm going to open Blender.exe. And... Um, I'm sure that'll be fine. Okay, so this is the experimental build for Blender. Um, that's, that, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay then, I guess the shortcut for rendering is F11 now. Didn't know that. Okay, now you want to go into Preferences and um, make sure that under um, Interface you have Developer Extras enabled. Then go to Experimental and enable New Particle System. Right. And then once you have all that done, now you can start messing with the fun things. So, I'm going... Ah! Oh, man. Anyways, I'm going to open up a new window. And that's going to be Timeline, so I can play through this. Right? And then I'm going to open up yet another... I wish they fi I wish they figured out a way to, like, fix this and make it better. Um, so we're going to open up a newer window, and this is going to be, there we go, the Particle Node Editor, which will only appear if you have the Particle Editor thing enabled under Developer Extras, which also has to be enabled. And you have to be using Blender um, 2.910. Okay, so, once we've got all that out of the way, open the Simulation Editor, and now we can have fun. So, um... The cube is not necessary. Um, we can also delete the camera and the lamp. We won't be using those today. So, let's hit shift A. And we're going to add a new object called a point cloud. Now I guess I'm crazy like this. Um, I'm going to go to modifiers. Add modifier and do simulation. Right, and then we have to make a new simulation here. And then choose that simulation here. Okay. And it'll ask us for a data path, and the data path is going to be an output particle simulation, and we can just control C, control V, and there that'll do that. And then we will add a, I'm gonna add in a, I don't know, I'll add a monkey head because that's usually the standard. A Suzanne is the technical term for it. Add in a Suzanne, right? And um, now if we play. Nothing happens. Why is that? Because we don't have emitters, so we add an emitter. All these things, the same mock-up, have not yet been implemented. They don't work, they're just mock-ups, right? So, there's no point in using something that doesn't really work. So, um, I just want to make sure I'm recording here. Oh, well. Okay, anyways. Right, so, I'm going to add an emitter. Not one that says mock-up, so particle mesh emitter is the only one we really have. And we'll do that. Now, still nothing's going to happen. That's because we need to choose what emits, right? So we hit this eyedropper and grab our Suzanne, which is what we want to spit out particles. And then we play. And particles are coming out. What if we want to increase the amount of particles? Now we have to just mess with the rate, right? We can set it to like a bit higher, you know, like 500. I don't want to go crazy, but you can go like 5,000 and it'll still work fine and this is fast this is really fast so like no matter how many particles you're emitting unless you're like in the freaking millions it's gonna be fast and amazing and it's awesome it's worth it it's very nice right so now um let's add an event or something right so let's um let's do particle birth event right let's um let's plug that in and then we have to Right, so that means when the particle is born, whatever is plugged into this execute thing is going to be 
executed. So I'm going to go to execute and we can do all sorts of fun things. Um, not much yet. Um, I guess set particle attribute. That's really weird, isn't it? Okay, well, still, whatever. <laughs> Like, the material work? Does that work? Maybe. No. Okay. But we can do, like, you know, scale. And that would be a float, right? I know, radius is a float. And a float is a number that can be, um, from, it can be 0, 0 0.1, and onwards up to a million or something way more than a million and then integer is all whole numbers boolean is true or false vector is three different um, inputs um, which correspond to x y and z and then color actually color I want to do um, let's do that let's do color make it red no color maybe I don't know how's that look we go to material preview. Um, this might crash, by the way. Okay. Yeah. That happens frequently. Um, things like to do that. That's a, um, it's a thing that happens. So, keep that in mind. That will be happening. Okay. So, now I've got all this set up and ready to go again um right so we can do all sorts of fun things um like we can you know do a, a force right a noise that's cool um we could have a random voice in the background that's annoying and loud um we can do all sorts of fun things I don't know. Um, it's a lot of stuff I don't really understand that much. Let's do white noise. Let's try to do that, right? This is probably going to be terrible, but let's just do it. Um, <coughs> oh, I sneezed. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to do emitter, particle mesh emitter. Um, Then I'm going to plug, I guess, value into rate, okay, okay then, maybe I have to do this vector stuff, maybe, oh I should pull up the timeline too, yeah for some reason I guess it doesn't do that, I don't know, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know that. Um, but what we can do here is we can add a force, which is cool. So let's shift A. Forces, force, right? Force, boom. And we can make it pull out about like, you know, 500 particles to our simulation, right? Currently the force does nothing, right? But we can make it like gravity. We could have it go down along the z-axis. So we go x, y, z, right? We could have it negative 9.8, which is Earth's gravity. And if we play, that's clearly, that can't be Earth's gravity. Um, but yeah, whatever. But we can do like negative 1, right? And that, that's probably more like Earth's gravity. But still, that's cool, right? Um... You know, we could have all sorts of fun things, like, we could have it go back along the y-axis, like, negative 5, boom, oh, that's actually forward. And yeah, this is all real time, too, which is really cool. We can, like, scale it up, make it really strong, like, it's getting ripped away. And if that doesn't seem like enough particles, give it more. A lot more, like thousands if you want, really, doesn't matter. And it goes off into infinity, and it's cool. But yeah, so that's, um, 
that's the new particle system for Blender. It's gonna be much better than the old one. Um, but one thing is, what about hair? What if it's, what if I wanna do hair? I don't know what we're gonna do with hair, honestly. I think hair is just gonna be like, a normal particle system here, right? But I have no idea. Yeah. No hair. So we could have like a hairy monkey as he emits his particles, you know? I don't know. Clearly this hair is not working in the experimental build though, so um, I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> but other than that, so we, that that's basically it. Now what I wonder, what I've been thinking about is can we animate this? So like location, you know, and then like frame 60, bring it up our location. Will the particles move with it? That's what I'm wondering. So let's see. They will. They do. That's awesome. I like that. So yeah, you can animate the particles now, I guess. I don't know. It's it's cool. And also what I really like about Blender is you can play things in reverse. Except it doesn't work with particles, I guess. But yeah. So, there we have that. Um, I would try to render this, but I already know that's a foolish idea. That will not work. Um, I don't know how to add materials to this stuff, um, but I'm sure there's a way. So yeah, just mess around, have fun if you want to mess with these. Um, but yeah, this is the new particle system for Blender. It is new. It's much different than it was. Um, yeah. Oh, and also, something else kind of cool is, um, here, I'll switch to, uh, less heavy render engine for this because this is gonna be poopy you realize if you go into the material editor i'm not sure how i feel about this but like they colored the node things now they colored the little circles for nodes i guess that is neat but yeah like they're colored according to how it is in the shader editor which is kind of cool i guess but still it's a bit weird it's a bit weird to see that but um Yep, that's that's about it. Um, so thank you for watching. And um, yeah, so bye.